Gusty winds return on Wednesday. Good Tuesday evening, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, all is quiet across Tennessee. Hardly a cloud in the state. Pretty sweet, but the lake effect snow machine back on. Places like upstate New York, it's also snowing around Maine at this particular hour. Fire weather warning because of low relative humidities and gusty winds have concerns for some burning. If anyone were to do some burning in Nebraska or Kansas, they could have some issues. The winds have been gusting, though, not far away in a nearby state, South Dakota. Gust around 55 miles per hour. We're going to taste a little bit of that wind uh, in modified form over the next couple of days. So high temperatures today hit 51 Knoxville, 53 in Oak Ridge. What were you calling for? I was calling for 49 this morning. We hit 49 in Newport, 49 in Crossville, 48 in Morristown in Hamlin County. We did start the morning off at 25, but the 51 actually is on par with what one might expect this time of year. The record high, 75 from the year 1900. Tracking the clouds, you'll be hard pressed to find any tonight. Lots of stars, but more cloudiness over the Sunshine State as the storm system begins to pull further to the east away from the coastline. Headlines mostly sunny Wednesday with gusts of wind around 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. If we see some drizzle possible by Wednesday evening. It's going to be pretty small, like 20% chance or less. Emphasis on less, but more sunshine returns on Thursday with gusts 25 to 30, mainly in the afternoon. That seems to be a theme, and it's all because these fronts keep coming in one after the other. This is 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Fronts back toward Memphis. Those red arrows bringing in a warm southerly wind, southwesterly wind, 5 to 15 could gust around 30. And I do expect we could find some spots of rain, maybe some drizzle in southeast Kentucky, like so, and then it works its way out of the picture. But then another front comes in as we go into the mid to upper 50s on Wednesday, should be in the mid 50s on Thursday, gusts 25 to 30. And then the next front, another one, yes, another one, with winds picking up, gusting to 35 miles per hour on Friday. Probably the strongest wind day we have of the week, and it may produce some spots of rain on Saturday, but there's the Saturday rain. I think Friday we could be in the lower to mid 60s about 63 for a high and if we see some flurries i think most of it's going to be in the foothills and smokies as it exits so for tonight down to 30 starry skies it'll be chilly winds not a factor tonight winds not a factor tonight but once the sun comes up tomorrow they'll start to increase and really get underway by the afternoon tonight we're down to 31 in oneida 30 degrees in kingston 30 degrees in morristown wednesday i'm expecting 57 hey that's better than today if we were only 51 today we'll get another six degrees bump tomorrow gusts around 30 miles per hour it'll transport that nice warm wind 5 to 15 plus 57 oak ridge about 58 for newport 58 for athens in McMinn county and of course valentine's day is monday oh i know it's so sweet like the chocolates high temperatures mid 40s with mostly sunny skies is my expectation here's your captain accurate weather authority forecast for knoxville and east tennessee a pair of fives on thursday i like how you're specific with the winds there aldrich that's pretty bold i know that's who i am 63 on Friday, 35 mile an hour gusts, spots of light rain and drizzle possible on Saturday, not a big deal and could end as a few flurries on its exit. We're down to 38 for Sunday, so made some modifications for your weekend, but we're still in the mid 40s for Valentine's Day with more sunshine should be back in the low 50s like today next Tuesday. So I wanted to keep you posted of how things are progressing. By the way, if you haven't downloaded the Captain Accurate Weather app, I hope you'll look at this one. See, it's, it's the same app. Hey, Pete Michaels has now joined uh, the Captain Accurate Weather uh, on, the, on the app with Pete Michaels Traffic. Weather and traffic perfect together and at your fingertips. Keep you and your family safe with weather alerts. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. I'm choked up because I'm laughing a little bit, all the excitement with the multiple platforms. Anyway, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.